A big problem in the medical device sector is that no matter whether you are a small company or a huge company, the same regulations and rules apply to you. Our technology is based on nanofluidics, meaning that we are manufacturing nanosensors in clean rooms that have nanoscopic dimensions. What we make is diagnostics equipment that is used to look at brain oxygen levels uh, in high-risk patients. We have designed and developed a very compact PET imaging device that delivers the same kind of images as the big ones you might know from the hospital, but on a fraction of the space and for just a very much reduced cost. The main challenge in my industry is the ability of changing the habits of physicians. We just solved the challenge by working together as a team, uh, focusing on the important stuff, being efficient, communicating well. In the next 15 years, we envision that our devices will be in almost every hospital and every uh, general practitioner's clinic. The ultimate vision would be that you know, no matter whether you are in a developed or less developed country, children that get born too early can have these brain monitoring solutions that we offer. My wish for the future will be to have an ecosystem that will be more likely to help startup to finance key projects like ours with the risk that we have, but also the huge benefits that we can bring on the market when we succeed. It's an important field from the medical perspective that we're covering. In 15 years, I would like to see a world that is healthier and that has more healthy aging, um, where people suffer less and have a better life.